I'm not so interested in dance as a way of telling stories. I don't feel that that's where its strength lies. I feel that it can express things through structural relationships, through space, through the use of time. And I, I feel that in, the, in Shakespeare's text, he also uses certain structures and he uses words and repetition to sort of mark time. The beginnings of this piece really came because I worked on a, a theatre production of Macbeth, The Young Vic, at the end of last year. I co-directed it with a, a theatre director called Carrie Cracknell. And following on from that, Mark Baldwin, the artistic director of Rombear, invited me to create a dance work based on this experience. So the way I've approached the creation of the dance piece is the stage is divided in half. On one side, the play is being reenacted, and on the other side is a more psychological, supernatural interpretation of the text by seven witches. It's almost like a split screen, so people are going to have to make choices about what they connect to and what they look at throughout the work. We're running the play backwards, so we're beginning with the death of Macbeth. The reason for that is an opportunity, I suppose, to work with the idea of inevitability and fate. And on the other side, I've always been very interested in ideas of opposition. And I think that the witches' side expresses this idea that is in the play that things are not what they seem, fair is foul and foul is fair, this idea that things can be more than one thing. This piece for me is really an experiment. I've never done anything like this before and I'm just very curious to see how it's going to turn out. <laughs>